Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How are you guys girls doing? Hope you're doing great. What will we do today? Today. Bye. Today. Today. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Today you will be getting your hands on some action, some coding. Yeah. Some actual yes, what you wanted to do. So we'll see what you be able to do today. I will take some baby steps, but there will be some coding to be done. I'll explain some stuff as well as I can, but yeah, mostly we'll just try trial and error. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, so here we are. This is Visual Studio, all right? And we're gonna be learning some programming today. We're gonna be going baby steps. You're gonna be printing out something to the screen, maybe something nice for us or for yourself, whatever you want. Okay. But that's gonna be a very simple little program. So, but this is Visual Studio, all right? This is like your program where you do all your program. All right, you don't have to use a program like this. You can use just a Word or just a notepad and you can compile things or whatever. Mm -hmm. But this is like Word for you, all right? It's gonna keep oh, track of your- Simplify. Simplify stuff. Yeah, it's gonna keep track of your grammar. It's gonna keep track of everything, help you out along the way okay and it's gonna translate your code like we talked about in the last video which is called a compiler all right oh from the uh, computer language to c++ other way yeah other oh way. So, so c++ the uh, computer language exactly because c++ is what is easier. it called main something Machi machine machine no, machine machine code <laughs> machine code oh, right zeros and ones so that's what it's gonna be what we're gonna <coughs> be doing today so are you excited yep. are you looking forward to this finally yeah? finally yeah all right i think you're gonna do a great job i'm gonna try to teach you as well Absolutely. as i can yes so what you want to do is you want to create a new project and I want you to just try to make that yourself. Mm -hmm. If you can, there's just a few buttons on the right here. Create a new project, obviously. It might be. Yes, it might be. So click that once. Oh, once. <laughs> back. <laughs> you don't have to double click. Okay. This has been... This Should I go back again or...? Uh, no, this is good. This is good. So what you want to do is you want to... This is the stuff we've worked with before, So, but that's recent. But what you can do is you can write C++ up here. C... Plus plus. Oops. Plus plus. There you go. And uh, good, good. And now what we want to do is we want to click on the Windows Desktop Wizard. Now all this stuff is stuff you don't once have to Once or twice? About. Twice. So some things once, something twice, I'll tell you. And <laughs> yeah, this, very confusing. Exactly. So here you're just going to give it a name you want. Whatever name you want. This. Yeah, that's a serious name. And then, <laughs> yes. And <laughs> underscore project. no spaces so you just want to do an underscore yes project, project. or project 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 good project. very nice and then you want to do create or you can press enter should work good now this wizard sh mm -hmm. showed up all right don't mind any of this just press empty project because we empty want everything projects. to be completely cleaned out okay and then okay now you should have a project shortly all right good on the left pane you'll see a few folders here you have a bunch of places where you can organize your files all right imagine just a project on any different kind of program like word again or powerpoint you have all your slides mm -hmm. all right this is where you're gonna have all your files and we want to make one file where we want to run our program in other programs you might have lots of files but for us all we need is one and so that is that is our one most important file called the main file because that's where I'll we keep our it. main function it's not there yet because we have to create it we created oh, an oh, empty well, project I'm supposed to create it. Okay. yes so you click on source files once <laughs> and you right click on that and you want to say add and uh, what do you think oh. we want to add a new item, new, new item or an existing yeah new item try that good and we want to do a cpp file so mm -hmm. here i'm just going to explain something cpp files or your text files. That's where you want to do all your programming mostly. Okay. Okay. So what is that's a header file. Header file is something you can also use in conjunction with a CPP file to include some things. And it's like a how should I explain that? It's like a a pre-file or something. But <laughs> okay, you know what? That's hard to explain for someone who's <laughs> okay, totally okay, okay. new. I've had to Let's do this stick before. To CPP file. That's how I usually say. It. <laughs> Just ignore everything you're seeing here. Okay. Just ignore all this crap. Great. Click CPP once, and then you want to rename it from source to main. You don't have to do this. This is also a good note. It doesn't why have to be. Why are we doing it? Because for us, this is also a good point. A lot of things we do in programming might seem like we have to, but we don't. It's a lot for ourselves to know Just what's going on, right? Simplify. Simplify. Because Always if you name simplify. it main, exactly. You name this main, <coughs> you will know that your main function is in there. That's where your program is. Otherwise, it could be named Bob.cpp, but it won't 
tell you what it does, right? What's up with you and Bob? I don't know. Bob's a cool guy. All right. Shout out to all the Bobs out there. Anyway, just add that right there. And you'll see your text file show up. And it's just text. Try writing anything you want. Try writing all the types of letters. Try writing your name. Let's see what it says about your name. Are you a C++? No. You don't exist in C++. Okay? <laughs> Not yet. C++. Not yet, guys. But we'll make your class real soon. You can create classes or you can make yourself. Okay? So don't worry. Uh, but the first line, everything is empty. So obviously you see, whatever you write has to be correct. And what was the word for the grammar in, in programming? Do you remember this? Syntax. 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 Good, good. So the syntax has to be correct. Just like <coughs> I can't say, say I cannot do blah, blah, blah. You don't understand what I'm saying, right? I have to use grammar. I have to use proper structure. Same thing for computers. It's not, it's not all knowing. So you have to use proper syntax. Um, good, very good. So we have reached this point. Now, before we program, I want to give you an analogy, a beautiful analogy, which you've heard before, all right? Uh, when you're in a library, <laughs> okay, you're walking in the library, you're strolling through, you have a lot of books, a lot of information other people have written, okay, that you didn't have to write yourself. You can pick a book out and you can put it in your basket and you can use it, you can read it, right? The Are same you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm going somewhere. <laughs> this is the same thing in here. Now, in programming, we include libraries, which other people have written, or some people who created C++, the guy who created C++, uh, he, he created some libraries and you want to include those if you want to use their functionalities. The Lego pieces they include. It's like building Legos. Mm -hmm. You include the pieces and then you can use the pieces. Okay. So we need to specify what we want to use. So we said we we're going to print something out to the screen and later on we're going to uh, print, get something from the keyboard. So those two things are included in a library called IOStream. And I want, mm -hmm. to, I want you to write a hashtag, Shift3. Oh, no. Yes. And I, I wanted you to guess the word for uh, how, how you should include this library. Include? Try that, try that. Oh, okay. It should be, yes. Very good, very include. good. Okay, and the way we write the name of the library we want to include is between two of these duck faces, kissing duck faces. You want to make okay. one of these. Yes, and it created oh, the other one the for you. Yeah, so here you'll see all the, if you use the down arrow, you'll see all the libraries you can include at the moment. So just hold the down arrow. You'll see how many wow. there are. Right? You can't include all these. You can. Do you use all these? No, 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 not at all, not at all. Just the few that you need. So, for example, I want this program to print something out. Then I want to use IOStream because that includes the functionality for so. that. So, IO. See, there is a. Yeah, good, good. IOStream. That's what you want to do. Maybe. Yep. Good job, good job. See, she's learning. So, I want another point now after you've included a library is how does C or your compiler translate this? In what order does it go? Which way does it go? Up, down, left, right? How does it read your file? Because it's up, very important. Up, down? Up. Like everything else? Yeah, right? Top to down. Because when you're writing something in a book, you write, her name was Mary. Then you have to write that first before you can start talking about Mary, right? That's the way this works. You okay. include IOStream and the lines after that you can think it has been included already. Now I can use it down here. Mm -hmm. But if you try to use stuff from this library above it, it won't work. It will first go, it will go from one, two, two, three, four, yeah, five. Yeah, in an order. Exactly, in an order. So below <laughs> this, that's why we include our libraries first before we write our programs. Because we want everything included first, and then we want to use all the stuff. Good, very nice. Uh, I want you to write something here that you might not understand right now. You don't have to okay. think about it too much, but I want you to write using space using space namespace not a space now just write namespace there you go there it is oh. you want to use you want to yes space. you can press namespace. tab as well good and then uh, or yeah what one you have like something like if you write name again name and now press tab whatever it was marked on will fill it out okay. you know what i mean okay. good and then you want to press a space uh, std it doesn't stand for whatever you think it stands for, but it stands for standard and a semicolon. We end all statements semicolon. with semicolons. Okay, very good. Now, what this is going to do is going to tell your program, okay, we're using this, these types of functions with the prefix std. So you don't have to write it out every time. So you'll understand how that works as we go along down here. I want you to write two enters. You can do one. Two enters. Yeah, two enters. You can use one, but like you said before, a lot of things we do is because... Simplify. Simplify. Make it easier for yourself to read and to work with, okay? That is smart. 
good very good all right, guys that's it for this video uh we had to cut it because the video was a little too long we realized um, but she did a great job so we didn't get anything printed out in this one but i promise in the next one we just cut it in half in the next one she does print stuff out so yeah hopefully you enjoy that as well so thank you check out the description box and all that stuff also your support is amazing thank you so much we both appreciate it a lot mm -hmm. yeah and uh, yeah just keep working hard i'll see you guys and girls in the next one right bye bye, bye.